I've talked to a lot of customers in various stages of maturity in the in the life cycle of their infrastructure, and a lot of questions they have about about cloud. Um, and cloud is a very hyped thing in the marketplace, and a lot of people don't understand it. There's a thousand different uh, thousand different definitions, and usually a definition is by someone who's trying to sell you something. Um, our perspective at cloud at Green Pages is that it's not a thing. It's not a location. It's not a uh, uh, it's not something that comes in a box, right? It's a different way that you manage your infrastructure. It's a holistic, very uh, um, um, innovative management methodology. And a lot of people, they, they still don't understand that. So what I, a lot of cases what I do is I, I, as I make the analogy to a car. So if you think about a traditional data center with servers and storage and networks and all that kind of stuff, and you make the analogy that it's a, it's a car. It's a 72 Dodge Dart, right? Uh, normally aspirated engine, this thing is bulletproof, right? It'll run forever. You put leaded gasoline in your mechanic. He knows this thing upside down, left and right. Now, when you go to a virtualized data center, you basically take that Dodge Dart and you replace the carburetor with a fuel injector, right? So now you have basically the same car, but now it's more efficient, right? And the, and, and the mechanic can still work on it because it's, it's w within the realm of his understanding. Um, now, when you go to a cloud infrastructure, or a total cloud infrastructure in that, in that data center, again, the analogy on the car is you're going to take that fuel-injected Dodge Dart, you're going to rip the engine out. You're going to put a gas turbine in. You're going to connect that gas turbine up to a generator, and you're going to put DC motors at all four wheels. So basically what you've done is you've disconnected, the, decoupled the business value of the asset, the moving wheels to get you somewhere, from the actual operation of the asset. So if I need to change that, that, gas, that gas turbine engine out, I don't have to worry about the wheels. I don't have to worry about the motors. It's completely disconnected. Um, and if I want to change the motors at the wheels, make them go faster, I can change those out and never worry about the engine. So a cloud infrastructure is the ability to separate those two things. Now, unfortunately, the mechanic that you had working on the Dodge Dart, he opens up that hood, he has no idea how to work on that. So not only do the actual physical properties of, a, of, a, of an infrastructure change, but how that infrastructure is operated and how it's managed has to change as well. And for uh, an organization to be successful in that transition from traditional data center to virtualized data center to a, a true cloud infrastructure, they have to manage and innovate the people, the roles and responsibilities and the processes that actually run that data center. And I think that uh, uh, a lot of people don't understand that those two things have to go hand in hand. You can have the, uh, the fastest car in the world, but if you don't have a driver's license, you're not going anywhere.